Thank you for joining me for another moment around God's Word and prayer today as we come a day closer to Christmas. We've been looking at Bethlehem. Bethlehem in the Bible first appears in Genesis as a burial place, not a, be- n- not a birthplace, but a place of burial. And then uh, it, it appears in the story of Ruth as a place where God not only can bury the past, but he can build the future for us. And now we're going to see today Bethlehem as a place where miracles are birthed. Uh, for in Micah, the prophet Micah, uh, in uh, chapter 5, in verse 1, Micah writes this, Marshal your troops now, city of troops, for a siege is laid against us. What's going to follow is the prophecy of the Messiah being born in Bethlehem. But it, the stage is set by a season of conflict. He said a siege is laid against us. There are a lot of people under siege right now. We're still under the siege of a pandemic, and in some parts of the world it seems to be getting worse again. We, we're being besieged by family problems. Um, one pastor put it this way, relationships are not working, consumption is not satisfying, therapy is expensive, heartbreak is universal, and escapism has become the law of the land. I mean, we're under siege as human beings. Uh, Rates of depression and suicide are skyrocketing among young people. I mean, these are difficult days. Families are under siege. Marriages are under siege. People's health is under siege. These these are days where we could could say there is a siege against us. The The prophet Micah says, for a siege is laid against us and they will strike Israel's ruler on the cheek with a rod. But you, the next verse, but you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, though you are small among the clans of Judah, and we know Bethlehem was not some huge city. It was just a small town in the, in the province of Judah. But you, though you're small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come one for me who will be ruler over Israel whose origins are from of old, from ancient times. This is the Messiah. This is the timeless one. In the beginning, John would say in John chapter 1, verse 1, was the Word, speaking of Jesus. In the beginning was the Word, and he was with God, and he was God. This is Micah's way of saying it. He will be ruler over Israel. His origins are from of old, from ancient times. And then, and then verse 3, Therefore Israel will be abandoned until the time when she who is in labor bears a son and the rest of his brothers return to join the Israelites. There will be a period of travail, of yearning for the Messiah, for the champion of Israel to come. But verse 4 says, when he does come, he will stand and he will shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord. Just like David was called out of the shepherd fields to be the king of Israel. And to him was promised them a son whose rule would never end. And the angels would announce to shepherds in the shepherd fields around that same town of Bethlehem that this child has been born. Now this one come, who comes, he will be one who will shepherd the, his flock, his people, in the strength of the Lord and in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they will live securely. For then his greatness, the greatness of this one born in Bethlehem, will reach to the ends of the earth. And then in stunning contrast to verse 1, where Micah says, for a siege is laid against us, in verse 5, he says, this one born in Bethlehem will be our peace. He doesn't even say he will bring us peace, but just who he is will be our peace. He will be the champion of peace. Isaiah would, would, would write, In Isaiah 9, verse 6, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. Would you pray with me? Our Father, we thank you for sending your Son to our world. We thank you Jesus was born in Bethlehem. Micah prophesied it 700 years before it happened. And today... It's being lived out that Jesus, the resurrection and the life, who died for our sins, who made it possible for us to be at peace with you, 
My God, we praise you that you're coming again, Lord Jesus, and that you're going to bring peace to our world. You are the Prince of Peace. You are the champion of peace. Thank you for this great, magnificent story that, 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 that flows out of a birth in Bethlehem uh, while we're under siege. My God, we pray that wherever our lives are under siege today, we pray that you will be our peace. We pray that you will step in. I pray that you will steady our hearts. I pray that worry will re be replaced with peace and with faith. I pray that no matter what we're facing, oh God, you will step in by the power of your Holy Spirit. In the name of the risen Christ, you will step in. Father, thank you for the gift of your Son, Jesus. Thank you. He is our peace. Thank you for giving us peace with you, peace with ourselves, peace with those around us, and someday peace to our evil-ridden world. Thank you. We praise you, and we honor the Prince of Peace today. In Jesus' name, amen. 